connecting your Skoog. So I'm going to show you how to get this plugged in. Just go to my software first, start that up, and then we'll get a connection window that will open, ask me to plug my Skoog in. Now it's a simple USB connection, but it's important that you are not touching or handling the Skoog when you make that connection, because the Skoog calibrates on connection. So all you have to do is make sure you're not holding the Skoog and just connect the USB cable. I'm using an active extension here, but you could just plug directly into the computer's USB port, if you will. And then the connection is established and the software will start up. And the first thing that we see in the software is a little shortcut uh, window that gives us a few options as to what we want to do with the Skoog software. Here we go. I can go straight in, straight to Skoog Music there. I could open the user guide, or I could launch the Quick Start Wizard, which is a useful, handy, interactive demo, which can uh, show you how all the features work. Let's go straight to Skoog here. There we go, and there we have it. My Skoog set up and ready to go. Now, if you are using it on a mount like I am here, then it's important that you have the mount set up and the Skoog in the position you want to use it when you make the connection at startup so that it calibrates in the position you're going to use it. And that's all there is to getting it connected.